end of the month. Let's hop on the scales. Eighty-eight point four. Body update. Let's start with training or toning it down after the ultra. I had a week off running. It was nice to have a bit of a break. I did do one k just today, a week on, and it was good to have a bit of time off after doing so many days consecutive. It's been nice to ride the bike again and ride some slightly longer distances. Look forward to doing some more when the house renovations are complete. Hopefully that's next week. It's getting closer now. And I've been doing my strength stuff again. It's been enjoyable. I was looking forward to that in the week of the Ultra. Looking forward to giving it a good go again. Because it is two months away from my 10 year vegan anniversary. And I'd like to just see what kind of muscle I can put on, if any, in the next two months. Toning down the cardio and increasing the strength. Because we have a pull-up bar at work, so I can use that. No excuses. It's going to be good. We'll see what I can do. Food-wise, 11 raw days. I did have one slightly oily dinner. Well, some dumplings had oil in them. We had Steamboat with Shan and Cam. It was good to have a nice dinner, shared dinner with them. Not the healthiest, but the rest of the days have been oil-free, mostly whole foods. Fruit for breakfast, fruit for lunch, fruit for dinner sometimes. And the whole foods on the rig. That's the body update. Body's good, body's strong. Looking forward to seeing what I can do in terms of strength stuff and just mixing it up. Doing some runs here and there, riding a whole lot more, and enjoying. No real plan at this stage. The big plan is obviously to move to Australia. So I'm not too sure what that entails for events. We'll see when the time comes. Until then, that's that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.